<laughs> mm. Okay, uh, what's up, guys? Um, this is the final body bag of Body Bag Week. Uh, but first and foremost, um, I need to give a shout out to Molvo19. He has a new account called Design Arts, and uh, I'm giving him a shout out because he made my uh, banner on my Shofu TV channel, which is now partnered. If you guys didn't know. But uh, yeah, so I'm giving him a little shout out. Thank you for the hard work you put into making that banner, uh, Molvone. Check him out. His link is in the description. Now, Body Bag Week is about to be done. And uh, I had to pass it to my boy, Hey Dunn. I tried to rhyme there, but it didn't really work out. So yeah, uh, my boy Hayden's about to narrate this uh, last and final body bag of this week. So um, yeah, enjoy. Or else I'll kill you! Oh, and uh, I'm the one actually playing. This is uh, my battle I sent to him, so it's me smashing this nigga. Bye! Espeon ain't playing no games. Let me just tell you all that before the video starts. What's up? This is Body Bag Week, motherfuckers, and I am Hayden. Doing the guest commentary here, we got Shofu battling a guy. He uh, He's leading off with a ninja ask, so that kind of tells you, whoa, hey, uh, I wonder what's happening here. It's kind of kind of no surprise that it's going to be some epic fucking sweep. But uh, yeah, so pretty much what this thing aims to do is just protect itself and get speed boost behind the substitute so he can baton pass into later shit. Really, ninja ask is just kind of, that, that's just the kind of guy ninja ask is. And knowing Shofu, of course, he abuses that kind of shit, so... <laughs> So the substitute is still being made. I don't even know who Shofu's battling. He's got a Japanese Azumarill over there. We're like, bro, I don't even know what you're talking about. You're speaking Chinese or some shit. So, I mean, I'm just going to have to proceed to kill you with my uh, with my ninjask here, I guess you could say. But Aqua Jet is taking out the substitute, so I'm pretty... Yeah, alright, so Yvetan passes out of here, goes into that big vape. Vaporeon is about to... Fuck up some Jirachi butthole in a minute here. But uh, he goes for the substitute. Like, substitute is like the most spammed move in this whole entire game. I swear to God. If I see one more substitute, I'm going to punch a baby in the freaking forehead. So this guy U turns out of here. I don't know what the hell he's even doing. By now, he's probably like, you know, I got myself into a situation with Shofu. And he has a bunch of stat boosts on his Pokemon. I should either turn off my DS or run. But this guy finds the courage in him. The, he finds the courage in inside of him to uh, to stay here and take this shit. So more substitutes are going on by that big vape, and Drew Kane's over here playing with swords. Like, what do you think that's even gonna do, man? I got acid armor, bitch. Plus two defense. What you know about plus two defense? And plus, you, why would you use drain? This guy. Okay, this dude used drain punch on a substituted Vaporeon. Okay, how about maybe a grass type move? Cause that's kind of super effective, but. Now Shofu goes into yo dumbass, and that's kind of correct because this guy is pretty much a dumbass. So, I mean, that was kind of a right on there nickname. He probably he probably just switched into Zapdos simply because he wanted to call this guy a dumbass. I'm telling you. <laughs> Some more substitutes are going on, and stat boost and rock slide. This guy's this this dude has a weird septile. I don't know what the hell. Drain punch on a septile. I guess. I mean, life, or maybe if it was like life orbed and like sword stance or something, that might be effective somehow. But you know, I'm just not seeing it now. He, now, now, Shofu's got this onion head guy out here going for the calm mines and shit. So the special defense level is just is just gonna graze, just gonna raise a lot. It's it's gonna be fantastic for Shofu. So I wish I wish that like you didn't have to go through all this shit to like dominate somebody but this jirachi is probably so bored i hate i okay this is you know you got to admit this has happened to at least what you this happened to you at least one time in your life i mean like i've gotten swept by this shit at least twice because that's <laughs> it just happens playing pokemon for this long you get into situations like this and you're just like well god damn it this is boring as shit so you know i know what the other guy is feeling right now because he's just pretty much just sitting there attacking substitutes not even getting any damage on the hp bars and then this freaking... He just avoided that attack. Do you see that? This Mr. Mime is like a fucking magic gypsy or something. He avoids attacks by Manectrix. But yeah, some more combines are going on. Switched from Celebi to these other psychic type Mr. Mime. You know, Mr. Mime is a pretty cool guy. No one uses Mr. Mime unless you want it for soundproof on a baton pass team. But yeah, so substitutes are going to get baton passed onto shit. Thunder, Thunder is awesome. Look at that, Thunder. The animation for Thunder is practically orgasmic nowadays so joey sends out his chinese azumarill which he probably got over the global trade center or something because that's just what these these kind of guys do they go on the global trade center i remember that when the global trade center was actually pretty cool i was like yo i'm gonna go on the global trade center and get a hacked shiny dark cry 
and I'd show all my friends and be like, yeah, dude, it's legit. Some kid from China traded it to me, but <laughs> this is what that's what this guy's doing. He found an Azumarill. He thought it was pretty cool, and he used it. So, oh, damn, you just got water absorbed, bitch. How does that feel? Yeah, that probably stings. Uh, so, substitute. He pretty much just got a free sub. He got his HP back and then reduced it with a substitute. So, that was pretty good. Um, he's going to baton pass the substitute into Ferris, the Espeon. You remember how I told you Espeons don't play no games like they ground it? Well, this 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 one this is actually the one that doesn't doesn't play games. This is the this is the Espeon. This is the guy, Ferris. I don't know why Ferris, but Ferris Gump. Body bear. <laughs> Forest Gump is gonna secret power the living hell out of everything. So that kills off Azumarill easily in one hit. Now he brings out Sal Twenty One J. Instead, I'm bear. sorry, Sal Twenty One J. You're just about to get secret powered. So can Sal Twenty One J can pretty much consider himself. Secret powered for the rest of his life. Now he brings in Neon, the uh, the Melotic. Melotic's just about to take a secret powder to the body No one even knows what secret power does. That's what's fucking awesome about this body bag. This guy is getting dominated by secret power by an Espeon. That is, that's pretty cool. Nasus is about to get secret power to the face too, right in the, right in the penis. Ouch. I don't know what what secret power is, but it would not feel good to take it in the dick. I mean, that's I, I'm just throwing that out there. So. Skeptile is about to get secret powered, but guess what? Motherfucking Focus, Focus Sash. What the hell? Focus Sash. I can't talk. I'm sorry about that. But, uh, yeah, so Leaf Blade, he, he now reveals that he had Leaf Blade. He could have used that on the Vaporeon, that big vape. But nope. And his last Pokemon is Manectric, and he's just about to take a secret power to the freaking forehead and die. So, this guy body has been body bagged body bag. by your boy Shofu. And Hayden, that's me. I'm uh, I'm Hayden actually. I, I if you didn't notice, I wasn't the one actually playing. It was Shofu. Um, I'm Hayden though. So I mean, nice to meet you guys.